I'm just gonna do this. Hello everybody, today we're going to be trying out Elemental Shaman. So Shaman got a bunch of new cards with the Forge and the Barons expansion that has the if you played an Elemental last turn synergy kind of thing, which was introduced way back in the Angoro expansion. And I had a lot of fun with it back then, so I'm excited to try it out now with Shaman. So we have Arid Stormer here, which is a 3 mana 2-5 for Shaman, and if you played an Elemental last turn it gains Rush and Wind Fury. Uh, the other Elemental synergy card they got was Lilypad Lurker. Which, again, if you played an elemental the prior turn, it has battle cry, transform an enemy minion into a 0-1 frog with taunt. So basically hex for one extra mana with a 4-5 body attached to it, which is pretty powerful. They also got another new elemental, which is a 4 mana 2-6, and it has taunt, battle cry, deal 1 damage to all enemy minions. Which is a nice like little board clear tool and activator for stuff like lily pad lurker. We've also got Menacing Nimbus in here, which returns from Wild. Uh, I believe it was from Boomsday, but now we have it back in the core set. And it has Battlecry add a random elemental to your hand. So that gives us even more elemental synergy stuff. We also have Gyre Worm from Dark Moon Fair in here, which also has the if you played an elemental last turn, and it deals three damage. We've also got the new Neutral Kindling Elemental in here, which has Battlecry, the next elemental you play costs one less. So that can be good to set up like an Arid Stormer on turn two. If you play this on one and then you can Arid Stormer on two, get a 2-5 Rush Wind Fury out there right away. Um, we've got Circus Malgam in here as like another four drop who also counts as an elemental. Uh, we have Steward of Scrolls, another elemental, and lets us discover a spell since this deck doesn't really have a ton of spells, but a lot of the effects from like our elementals are sort of similar to spells like with the Hex on Lilypad Lurker, Earth Revenant's effect, and then we have a lot of stuff that deals damage like Gyre Worm or Arid Stormer can be used to clear minions and stuff like that. We also have newly buffed Fire Elemental which now deals 4 instead of 3 damage, and also newly buffed Alakir the Wind Lord who now has 1 extra health. And we've also got the new Alex Straza the Lifebinder in here. So her new effect, uh, basically you choose either an enemy or a friendly character. If it's an enemy, you deal 8 damage, and if it's uh, friendly, then you heal for 8. And yeah, the basic game plan is to just tempo out minions on curve while chaining together the elemental synergy effects. And then ideally, the we finish with like Alakir the Windlord and a Rockbiter weapon, which is like a 12 damage burst combo. Um, or we could play like Anara Stormcrash with Rockbiter or with the uh, Wackanole Hammer for like a 10 damage combo. Or we can even use Alexstrasza for that last 8 damage burst. And yeah, I've been having a lot of fun with the deck. I really like all the new elemental cards Shaman got. So we're going to go ahead and try it out. Roll versus Rexa. Rexa. For the Horde. For Doomhammer. Alright, I like Cage Match here. Um, these are decent. Maybe I'll keep it, because then I have like two into the weapon, into these two. Yeah, we'll roll with it. See how it goes. Uh, we're going to save that for now. Pack runner. Alright, we can clear that with the weapon. Easy peasy. still kill it and we can play circus amalgam or we can play that to kill the one one i think i'm fine leaving it on board though I'd rather just get more stats out don't have to worry about kill command anymore so it's not that big a threat oh. do still have deadly shot though Let's get 
this out there now. Get the heals, nice. And then that's still active for next turn if we need it. Guidance and Steward. Let's take both. I don't know if we'll be able to stick a board big enough for this, but we'll try. I like Runic. This actually powers up the Molten Blast as well. Okay, well, it's dead now. I think I'll just play Runic here. Not the other really pad lurker. Just playing without rust so we don't get the overload. But now he's got that board to deal with. Only Bloodlust was still a thing. A Mullen Blast that fills my boards, but I could like Vivid Spores, so then they don't die. Yeah, why not? I doubt he'll have an answer for all of this, so we just kill him in like a couple turns. Uh, so that's a grand slam, right? That's his only 10 cost. Do we trade here? He hits us for 16. He would need... This is 18. He would need 3 burst from hand, so like a quick shot would do it. I feel like we have to clear, right? We get our board back anyway, so... And we can't actually play anything, so... This might have been a mistake filling our board like this. Gonna end a grand slam next turn. Want to know why they call me Kodo Bing? Need to trade one of these in so we can actually play something. This is four burst, this is four burst. So we need to get them down to like. How much can we do here? It's three, six. Something's clear. He 100% plays Nagrant Slam next turn. I want to hit face, steal as much as we can right now. I think I can just fire Ellie Menacing Nimbus, or we can play the Taunt. So that's 4, 8, get him to 11. What to do. I feel like we can pressure him down faster than he can kill us. Let's do that. I'll go ahead and play this guy. Depends on where these hit, I guess. Okay, he's gonna trade. Ideally, okay. Well, none of them went face, so that's kind of a problem. Clear that with this guy. I can hex one of them. Maybe just do that for now. Let's hex first, so we clear the taunt. No longer a prince. Okay, hopefully it doesn't have the other one. If we can find like Rock Biter. We basically have lethal with Inara. We can find burst with this too. Oh, we had the other one. Just all hit face. Nope. Okay, cleared the time. Got all of those dudes. Uh, what can we get? It's 
something useful, hopefully. A charming composition. Chain lightning? Does four right now, or five with the buff actually. Kills two of them. Yeah, I mean, it's about the same as playing Inara, except we don't take the damage, so go with that. So, kill these two. Play Menacing Nimbus and the Kindling. The calm before the storm. Oh, wow. Okay. That should help. It's us for 11 if he goes face with everything, but he'd still need another 7 from hand. I'm looking for a few good mercenaries. He's gonna have like King Crush or something. This probably clears our board. Or buffs his minions. That give him lethal. What is it like a plus 4 or plus 2? I think it's plus 2, plus 2 out of 5. Okay, he's got. Rifle. He must be clearing here, right? Yeah. Cleared that one. Okay, so probably explodes. Never mind. Oh. Oh, that's lethal. That's lethal, right? There's no way he stops us. Yeah. And Easy. Guide me. Explosive doesn't matter. Wham. And bam. Nice. Yeah, uh, we'll just throw this all back, I think. Should I look for two drops? Kindling works too. That's actually a really good curve. Silas. Without lives, we might just rock biter it to hit him for 10 damage right now, or we can whack a null and try to buff it. Does he have double holy smite? Nope. Alright, do we take the 10 or we just go for the buff right now? I think I'll just go with the hammer, because he probably has healing, so. Dealing 10 right now is probably not that big a deal. Hopefully buff this one and not the 1 too. Should have attacked for this first. But we're gonna trust this. Nope. Missed. Well, he still might not have a clear for it. Okay, he's got taunt. Good heal. And play an elemental, so that's not active. We can hit this. I think you can hit here. If it buffs that, we have to trade there. Hoping it buffs this and we can do that. Really want to rock biter this guy. What to do? Let's just play it safe for now. Guide me. Okay, we did buff him at least. Down to 18. Oh, nice. Buffed him even more. What is a loon's will? Cthulhu piece. Heart would be pretty bad here. 
Hysteria. Doesn't actually die. Okay, now it dies. Rip. Oh. Alright, let's go with that. Get in the damage while we can. He's only got three cards in hand, so... Um, so we go Fire Ellie here, sets him to 10, and then we can Lily Pad Lurker the next turn, or play that. Like, just off lethal with this hitting face and this. Assuming he has another clear or heal though. Go ahead and play this and the Circus Amalgam. Just keep the pressure on him. Keeps Lily Pad Lurker active for next turn as well. Definitely has tons of removal. There's Rock Biter. Alright, well I'm not gonna play Lurker here. I'm gonna break the chain of elementals, but I don't really think there's much point in getting a 4-5 out right now. Maybe Guidance can help us. Evolve, Tile Surge. Evolve's not bad with him. Go ahead and just take both. Buffs. So we want to save this for Alec here. Since we played our NR already. Or if we can stick our other Arid Stormer, maybe. He's just gonna keep healing up. Yeah, I'll play that, why not? Y'all go, okay. Oh, that was so close to Pyroblast. This could be bad. Got six spells. Well, we can hex the Yogg, but that might not be the worst of our problems. Got a rogue secret. Deep nice. Might have to revolve here. Probably Silas and revolve. Control for the card draw. This is Alex. Could like hex something. I think I'll just take his um his Yog and then we'll revolve. Get a different 10 drop. Swap these. Go ahead and punch face now. So yeah, let's hero power as well. Give him a totem. Well, it'll just be a one drop, but. Yeah. Ambush. Alright, well, this gets rid of that too. Alright, we got a 10 10. I'll take it. He got some pretty low rolls. I mean, most of his stuff was one drops anyway. This is good. So this is for 8. If we draw Alec here, that's 12. Man, I 
this death. Got more life steal too. What's he doing? Yes. There's another guidance. Guess we'll go with that. Okay, we could like double tidal surge, I guess. Or just torrent too. Take both. Go ahead and torrent one and tidal surge the other. Then we get the base. Hoping we can set him low enough with life binder to set up for lethal with Alakir. Still need to draw him though. Hmm. Another renew. Heals, clears, and heals some more. Priest in a nutshell. Yeah, let's play Alex. And the cycle of life is reborn anew. Still has two random spells off the Yog. Hmm. Time may pass. Sarah. I mean, if he wants to sap that back to my hand, I'm fine with that. I can just hit him again. Take him to 11. None of his Ysera cards heal him. Uh, yeah, we can play that and Ysera, so then these will be active for next turn. So, let's go with that. Oh, you built this for me? I mean, Alex, not you, sir. And the cycle of life is reborn anew. We have lethal if we top deck Alc here. Now, this sets us up to like hex the Ysera. Nightmare trade. Psyche split. Oh, well, there's Alec here. He is like just one out of range though, because he healed. So, do we go for it now, or I feel like we hex one first, right? Try to set up for the surprise lethal. Like, we can get one other minion to stick here. And maybe we can get it to work. Need one of them to live. Plate is Awakens. He just has two Ysera minions, which don't bother us. We've got a dragon. Just don't have any more removal spells. Like he kills one of these with the Ysera. But if the other one lives, I we won. Okay, he only gets like two. He only has two mana. Or three spell three spells. But he only has two. So he could play like a holy smite, I guess. Which wouldn't be enough. I think we've got him. He heals, so we hit him for four, and then Alakir clears. Nice! Polywog. Polywog. Well played. Alakir lethal. 
<laughs> you win.